Hi, my name is Barry Crompton. Today I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Discovery 4 3 litre and take you for a ride in it. First I'll tell you a little bit more about it. So it's a Land Rover Discovery 4 3 litre SD V6 XS. It's four wheel drive, it's a 2011 on a 61 plate, it's one owner from new and it has a full service history with eight service stamps. The car's done 118,000 698 miles. The fuel economy, urban 28.8, extra urban 34.9, combined is 32.1, a 0 to 60 time of 8.8 .8 seconds, top speed of 112 miles per hour out of a 255 brake horsepower 24 valve engine. Road tax, six months is 305 pounds 25, 12 months is 555 pounds. Um, it was last serviced on the uh, 8th of 2nd, 2019, but I'll tell you a little bit more about that. We'll be putting a full MOT on it, uh, so it'll be ready to go. As I said in yesterday's video, we only buy good cars, or we only try and buy good cars. This one, we've been out and sourced. It's a, it's a beautiful example, Land Rover. Um, you, you see adverts, that, where they say no expense spared. This vehicle, no expense has been spared on. I'll, uh, I'll show you the service invoices when we get in the car and, and tell you about the service history. But in the meantime, I'll, I'll just show you around it. These are my second favorite runabout. Um, you've got on the front, Xenon headlamps. We've got high pressure headlamp wash, fog lamps, parking sensors in the bumpers. We've got the multi-spoke alloy wheels and that's shod with Pirelli Scorpion Zeros all the way around. Always a good sign, 118,000 mile and they're still putting premium tyres on. It's, it, that's usually a sign that the car has been well looked after instead of just putting ditch finders on or something like that, the proper tyres. So we've got the power folding door mirrors, it's rear privacy glass here and we've got the plastic wheel arch protectors and the bottom of the door stroke sill protectors. The rear wash wipe here, again reversing sensors in the bumper. I think we've also got a reversing camera, yeah, reversing camera, the lens is just underneath there. So it's a split tailgate, top half opens up for easy access, just putting your shopping in. And this bit, there's a button there, and a nice flat loading area. This, the vehicles are seven seater. The sixth and seven seat are actually under here. The, this this car, it's been really, really well looked after. It's got the big, thick load liner in the the boot, so the the six and seven seats are under there, but just fold out easy enough. A uh, bit of a stretch, I would say, but very easy enough to do and you've got the load cover it's kind of a roller blind load cover here that just pulls over and tucks in like so so nobody can see what you've got in the back from the rear windows so I'll just show you in the back So my seat's right the way back there. Still, I could do with that, that seat going forward a little bit, but you have to remember it, this is a seven seater. So uh, probably this middle row is, is just a bit further forward, or perhaps an inch or so. But even, even so, um, if I sit there, the cut out there, my knees are in it. it it's, it's okay, there's plenty of headroom. This is, the roof lining is kind of hollowed out and the, the roof is stepped up on the outside. So you've got you've got plenty of headroom and you in the back here you're actually higher than the drivers i think they call it cinema seating something like that um so you you're above the driver so you can see above the driver and out out the window it's, it's not as claustrophobic as i said we've got the rear privacy glass here the car's got harman kardon speakers so any music you can play a video in the front any music uh any any sound it's recreated absolutely perfectly it's, it's brilliant these back seats fold down as well so if you're carrying stuff you can you can get a massive amount of tackle in the back here 
it has the really thick, heavy duty rubber mats, the Land Rover ones. So the carpet's gonna be like brand new underneath. The, the, the car has been incredibly well maintained with the service history and with cleanliness. Um, the leather's like new. You wouldn't believe it had done 180, well, you wouldn't believe it had done 30 or 40,000 miles, let alone 118. So it, it is a great example and, a, and another great vehicle for sale at our garage. I'll just take you for a ride in it. It's a remote key. It's keyless go, so so long as you've got this uh, key in the car with you, in your pocket or whatever, just uh, press the button, your foot on the brake, and that's it, it starts up. Um, I'll just tell you a, a bit about the service history, which, uh, let's see, first one. So first service, 19th of the 10th, 2012, 16,665 miles, Stratstone, um, Gloucestershire. Then, uh, I, I, even though Stratstone's are one of the biggest firms, uh, car retailing firms in the UK, and probably one of the best, unfortunately the, the guy who stamps things isn't. So 24th of 5th, 2013, we can make out it's a Stratstone stamp there, just 31,335 miles. And uh, that's another one of my pet hates. Nobody uses blotting paper anymore, so they stamp it, shut it, and then it, anything over on this page gets covered in ink. And uh, it would seem that they've made it the same mistake on every single one. Um, so here at 17th of 4th, 2014, that looks like S Ratstone, but it is actually Stratstone, uh, 41,345 miles. Then over the page here, 17th of 3rd, 2015, Stratstone again at 53,481. 12th of 3rd, 2016, 64,758 Stratstones. 27th of February 2017, 76,363. Now, uh, stereotyping here, I would say that um, the previous ones have been young lads, and that one is a young lady, nice, neat writing, proper signature, and the date written properly. So, uh, well done there, Stratston. You're up in your game. And then, next one. 16th of 2nd, 2018, 93,287, Stratstone. And the last one in the book. Now here we go, GX Land Rovers, independent specialists. And I always see this, um, 8th of 2nd, 2019, no mileage anywhere, uh, but, Full service carried out, front disc and pads, alternators, battery, new washer bottle. So just writing the extras they've done on there, you get a point for that, but then you get like 500 points knocked off for not writing the mileage on. Um, we've also got a printout here. So uh, again, it doesn't look like there's any actual proper dates, but the, the vehicle has had we, we've got invoices back at the garage. Um, both front and suspension arms replaced. They do get a tad, bit tired on uh, discoveries after a while, so you, you won't have to do that. That's been done for you. Timing bolt kit replaced 81,000 uh, at 81,000 miles in 2017. So again, that's not going to be good, done for a good while. 2018 rear brake disc pads, calipers replaced and as we can see it's hardly done any miles since then and 2019 front brake disc replaced battery and alternator so just about everything everything's been kept on top of it's it's a really good vehicle it's the, the model i like with a rotary gear selector let's see just one second 
So there, we've got a height and reach adjustable steering wheel as well. It's automatic with a paddle shift. We've got sat nav. And uh, John and myself went to Huddersfield yesterday to pick this vehicle up and it was lashing down. There was all sorts of chaos on the motorway, crashes everywhere, people that spun off. We went in a Range Rover, came back in the Range Rover and this. Just, and it, it's, it's just no drama. It, um, I, I can't sort of put into words just how good Range Rovers and Land Rovers are somehow they feel better than uh, Mercedes-Benz and uh, BMW X5s and X6s they just and it would seem that they were built for a purpose which is a heck of a lot more demanding than just driving on a motorway in the rain you know they you could just go anywhere like in, in one of these Jeremy, Jeremy Clarkson went to the top of a I can't remember which mountain it was in Scotland now, but um, you, you can just go anywhere in them. And anything that's built for something of a harder use than what you're going to use it for lasts a heck of a lot longer. And that, that's what I think with these Land Rovers and Range Rovers. You see so many old ones about, and. Uh, they're just lovely to drive it's uh, I, I honestly wouldn't drive anything else really if I had a choice so there we go effortless acceleration really very very smooth gear changes nice position you can see above everybody else on the road and I, as I remarked to John yesterday we were flying down the motorway and we're looking down on other vehicles and the vehicles we were looking down on were in the spray of the car in front we were above it so we could we you know we could just see what was going on it's uh, and it, it's a very comforting comforting feeling being in one of these and also the, the road I was up, up there I, I see plenty of people going up there there's they're building a bridge uh, to get from Penwortham to Walton Dale and the bridge is done it's showing up on people's sat navs but it's not open yet so there's all sorts while I'm photographing that's that's why it's so busy it's a dead end or, or it's always been a dead end but in effect there's people going up there the sat navs taking them up there to get through to Penwortham and it's blocked off so they're having to do three point turns and I, as, as I'm waiting for them, I'm filming of course, it seems a heck of a lot longer when you're waiting for somebody, but you see them and they're going backwards and forwards and backwards and, and, and so on and do like a 20 point turn. I can turn one of these round in two turns on that same road. They, they've got a fantastic lock uh, and just very very easy to very easy to drive very easy to park you can see all the corners and uh, you see the back when you're reversing up to something the back's the back and I can see the uh, virtually the headlights so the car, the car is just beautiful We've got a huge front center armrest here two cup holders you've got the climate control heated seats there it's got a uh, heated front screen as well which um, use a Range Rover at the moment come out in the morning and it's just a bit like misted up you, you put the heated screen switch on and it's gone in seconds and in the winter when all your, your windscreens iced up you jump in the car switch your heated seats on and then uh, click the front windscreen jobs are good I don't think they'll go oh yes they're going in. Half folding door mirrors, your electric window controls there, electric door mirrors controls. Good looking cars, Land Rovers, I have to say. It's 
uh, I won't I won't check the windows we've got cruise control on the left here let's just get out into the middle there say absolutely effortless one touch cruise control get to the speed you want click it and you're away or from now on just going a little bit faster so by clicking that one the minus I can knock it down a bit if I want to go back up I just click that one and it, it knocks up so some of these some of the cars these days the cruise control switches behind here where you can't see you've got a thumbnail you thumb wheel you've got to click the minus to set it and then plus to take it up so complicated and as I say in this in in Range Rovers and Land Rovers it, I, I had a, an old when I was doing a house up I had an old Defender with a big trailer on the back and it was just everything had a purpose proper click switches and the game would go anywhere and tow anything drag anything um, we used to uh, where our garage was we were at the bottom of a hill when it floods all the rainwater comes to the bottom and there's a huge there's like a big lake at the bottom people used to try and get through it get stuck halfway the car, the car would get water in the electrics and I used to drag them out with this defender no trouble straight through and uh, I, I, I suppose that's why I've got a, a bit of a soft spot for them they're just everything's to hand nice and easy so comfortable As, so you, you do feel safe we've got xenon headlamps on it high pressure headlamp wash what else have we got anything else There's six and seven seats in the back of course that's very very handy the seats fold down they fold down independently of each other so you, three seats in the middle and if you've got another passenger you can still fold two down with a load of luggage gosh I, I don't know what fuel that car's burning in front but it stinks gosh it's awful the 19 plate Great, it's going our way as well. It's uh, a Lexus two, CT200 hybrid, so. Nineteen plate. <laughs> Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll let him off. I think uh, occasionally there's a, I think it's a pig farm up here and they, they, they spray the sewage all over the fields. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't come across a tractor up there. It wasn't that car, it's, it's, pig, it's pig shit. <laughs> Sorry about that. But it, uh, it's, it, no excuses. Although some uh, some fuels, especially the old cheaper ones, used to smell a bit like rotten eggs, and that's what that smell was, except worse. <laughs> Even coming through that dip in a in a lower car, you can't actually see where you're going. It it changes direction and goes up and down as well. And in a Land Rover or Range Rover, you, you can you, you everything's just so much easier. It's 50 miles an hour. Now this little section of road up here through the country, that's where we test the suspension. And uh, as I pointed out before, this has had lower arms. Now loading the car from side to side, shifting the weight. That's uh, sometimes when you can hear a crack from the lower arms or a knock. 
but uh, in this case they've already been done we'll, we'll still do it anyway we've got a golf right up my backside here so we'll just try and put some distance between him and us There we go, and this is the place. So right, left, right, left. No knocks, no noises, per absolutely perfect. And the uh, the big like suspension travel, really bumpy road along here. No trouble. See what's coming and then you've got a good view of everything as well no traps around the corner over hedges this car again is just as it's coming come in as uh, not being clean it's already clean windscreen's just a little bit dirty inside um, Lance will be on this probably this well, Thursday today we'll probably get around to this on Monday and vehicle will be ready to go so I'll finish the test drive there and uh, I'll just show you how to set the sat nav if we can f yeah we're out of the sun there 